Hello everybody, call your Swecker in Birmingham, Alabama. Hope you're having an awesome day. Wanted to touch base with everybody about FHA and VA loans as it relates to the home buying process. Oftentimes, we get fixated on no money down, which is VA, 100% financing, or FHA, 3.5% down. Are these the best deals because, you know, hey, I don't have to come to the table uh, with but 3.5% or I can even get 100% financing? Well, the answer is not so simple. You see, they, they, with each program, they have upfront costs that are far more expensive than a what we call a conventional loan that has a minimum of 5% down. Now, with 5% down, you're probably going to have PMI, uh, private mortgage insurance. However, um, what, what we're going to find out, though, is that that cost of that insurance is far less than any of these upfront costs and your monthly payment is going to be less than that sort of thing. But with the VA, what makes it really kind of really makes the deal not as good is the fact that there's a, I believe it's 2.15%, roughly around a little over 2% funding fee just to be able to do a VA loan. So in other words, if it's $100,000, just so you can get the loan, there's going to be a $2,000 fee that you have to pay as a closing cost. That's a closing cost that you won't have uh, with any of these other uh, loan programs. And in fact, none of that $2,000 goes towards your equity, where anything that you put down, when you put 5% down, that's 5% of equity that you're getting in the property. Then take FHA. FHA, great program for those who, it's, you know, it's, by the way, it's not a first time home buyer program like a lot of folks think it is. I think the F and the H of the FHA, good little wrap there, uh, folks think that that's what it's geared to. Now, it does skew towards folks in their first or second home, but mainly because of price point. Uh, you need to be below approximately $274,000 and below uh, in borrowed money. But, but that being said, there's an upfront PMI that is paid up front, and it's, uh, it's, it's closer to 2%, I believe, as well. And then ongoing, you know, PMI as well that, that, that costs a little bit of money every month. And all that being said, you only got three and a half. The same amount of money you would have put down with FHA at three and a half percent, and then you had to pay that extra upfront PMI would be the equivalent in many cases to just putting 5% down and actually having that one and a half percent act as equity in the property. The other thing with FHA is that PMI can never ever, for the life of the loan, come off the property. Whereas in traditional PMI, you can, at when you get below 80% uh, LTV, loan to value, in other words, you have now have 20% equity, uh, you can remove that PMI. Not the case with an FHA loan. It'll stay on for the life of the loan. So anyway, these give you a few examples to make sure you talk with your mortgage lender about why conventional may be a better and more financially secure investment when you go get your new loan. If you have any questions, comments, email me, call your at megagents.com. Hope you're having an awesome day. Bye-bye.